I was up y'all, it's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Steve Boss, here after this impressive vid. It's titled, Diddy Sued by 13-Year-Old. What? Male and female celeb implicated. Oh, are we revealing names? Gorilla is up, period, and future regrets feud with Drake. Oh, too late now. You pick a side, you better stay there, all right? <laughs> stay where you at, brother, you messed up. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on, let's watch. everybody welcome to the impressive channel i want to talk a little bit about glorilla because glorilla seems to be having quite a good year she has gotten co-signs from people like rihanna beyonce and I even her album on Patreon, i kind of gagged way. a little Check bit it out. when i saw taylor swift playing glorilla's song with sexy red called what you know about me that was taylor. funny that was funny i didn't <laughs> expect that but Glorilla has been getting a lot of major, major cosigns, and I do feel like she is the industry's next female rap star that they're pushing. In fact, her album, Glorious, sold 69,000 copies yes. in its first week, which is huge. This is huge numbers for an artist like Glorilla. Who knew that Glorilla would surpass her peers like this? I mean, the only people that she's behind at this point is Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj, but everybody else she Work. surpassed. She surpassed Ice Spice, JT, she Mary. surpassed Lotto. Oh. And to be honest, I really liked Lotto's album, Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Personally, I think Lotto's right, album so and Doshi's album, Alligator Bites Never Heal, <laughs> were better than Glorilla's album. I'm just being honest. Those were two very solid hip hop projects. However, they still <laughs> did not outperform Glorilla's album, Glorious. Also, Glorilla outsold Megan the Step. She think, she think Lotto's album was better than Glow's. I mean, you need to listen again, girl. I disagree. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I heavily disagree. Oh yeah, don't choose. That's debatable. It depends on your style. All right, but Lotto's Megan the Stallion's album sold five thousand less than hers, which is very interesting because Megan got a bigger push. She had a bigger budget when it came to her music videos and her performances. She did a whole tour, but Glorilla and still go outsold her. her. And I find that to be very interesting for a few reasons. Glorilla was never positioned or anticipated to surpass somebody like Megan Thee Stallion. She was her opening act, yeah, okay? That's crazy. So it's clear that she was not on the caliber. Oh, I love a good underdog story. I love a good underdog story. And people did count her out, me included, honestly. <laughs> well, I don't say I count her out, but definitely when Fuck Nigga Free came out, I wasn't thinking that her career was going to be lasting this long. Uh, I was just like, okay, she got a little ghetto bop. She look a mess. <laughs> that was before she got her teeth done or whatever. They was doing ratchet shit, dancing on cars, pregnant women, dancing in the street. Anyway, so I was like, this is ghetto. I fuck with it a little bit, but it's ghetto. And, you know, I just thought it was going to be that. And she was going to have her little one hit, maybe two. And that was going to be the end of it. But no. So she has proved a lot of people wrong. Uh, but I have been loving her her come up story. Uh, and I love her music. And this album, five, I play it every day. Somebody like Megan, who has seen mainstream success and has been a Grammy Award winner and has headlined her own tour, her major tour. However, things are shifting. Glorilla is now outselling the main. You know act. what I think also it makes Glow surpass a lot of the other rap girls is because she does not make coochie music, you know? I mean, obviously she has bars about, you know, pussy tie, wet, blah, blah, blah here and there, but it's not, it's not a big part of her music. She raps about a whole lot of different shit, and that opens the gate for men to enjoy it as well. You know, I feel like a lot of men like Glow and they listen to her music versus they don't want to listen to Lotto in their car or Meg and they tell mom, pop my pussy, I'm so wet, riding this dick, and every other lyric. You feel me? It's just like, niggas don't want to hear that. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> No, they don't want to hear it and they don't want to be, you know, blasting it in their car. That shit, it's weird, all right? So, I think Glow has that that one up. A lot of the other girls need to take note. Like, y'all y'all need to get with the fucking times. That shit is play, it's tired. We're over the coochie lyrics. We're over it. We're tired. Sure, sprinkle it in your music. Get it. Everybody does it. But damn, it should not dominate every fucking song. You shouldn't be rapping about sex and having that be the focal point of every fucking song. It's tired. <laughs> so Glow is, is, is shitting on y'all in that area. She gives us variety.
Jesus. So it seems like Lorella is really the Come one up. being pushed Jesus. into that next and female rap it stuff. girl spot, if that makes sense. At this point, I could kind of see them trying to push her into the spot that Cardi left. You know, Cardi hasn't dropped an album in how long. Yeah, and it seems Cardi? like a her, lot of the hype she? around oh, her no. music has died down. Now, this happened? is not what to is say it? that she should be counted out completely, but it seems like Lorella is being ushered into her spot. And to me, that is an interesting turn of events. I didn't see this coming. I didn't see Glorilla sneaking up to the top of the pack like this. <laughs> because yeah, she just seemed like she was more of the underdog. I don't like the whole conversation also about, oh, this person trying to take Nikki's spot or Cardi's spot. Why does it have to be a spot? There can be space for multiple female rappers to succeed. I think that sentiment is very weird. But, you know, I'm happy for her. I think this is a good look for her. And hopefully she could continue with the momentum and also continue there are to many grow as successful an artist. I think that's going to be the most important nobody thing. Talks about, oh, this person trying to take Drake's spot or take nobody talks like that. It's like everybody could eat. But with the female rappers, oh, there's only room for successful too. That shit is point. So People annoying. like Lorilla's music now, but... Can she evolve? Can she get better? Can she show more range? I think she's Only time that. can really tell, but her growth is going to be crucial for her longevity. Now, I want to yeah, briefly Glow. talk about this. I support it. It seems as if some of the rappers are regretting going against Drake. What a <laughs> now, Drake has several feuds this year, Wrap not just this with weak ass Kendrick album Lamar, he just came out with. with I just reacted to that as well, but spoiler alert, that's how I feel about it. Oh, wait, I didn't react to the album. My bad. That is a lie. My bad. I listened to it on my own and it was ass. But I did uh, react to a future related video and like his song and a music video. Anyway, okay. I don't know what happened <laughs> with my OBS, but some random balloons popped up on the screen and it just froze. I have no idea what that was about. Very strange behavior though. Where the hell did balloons come from? What's going on? What's happening? Anyway, let's continue. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Kendrick Lamar, but also Rick Ross, The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky, and also Future and Metro Boomin. In fact, they're the ones who ushered in this beef between Drake and Kendrick because they allowed Kendrick to hop on their song like that, and Kendrick took direct shots at Drake in response to, to Drake and J. Though. Cole's song, First Person Shooter. So this song was really the, the catalyst to this whole rap feud between Drake and Kendrick. Occurred, but it bro. seems like Future is starting to have second thoughts about being involved in this whole beef with Drake. He realizes that it's not beneficial. And so what I found interesting was this. Young Thug tweeted from prison, Drake, Future, prison. Mitchell, brothers, music ain't the same without us collabing. And Future retweeted this. This right here told, Go back me, on the this told me that these rappers from need Drake and Drake needs them. So good. Now, this is not to say that they can't thrive on their own. I mean, Future is always going to thrive on his own with his mixtapes and stuff. So nothing is going to stop him. However, he realizes that the hip hop scene is dead. Hip hop music has been shrilling up. For the men. Because the big dogs aren't collaborating anymore. Everybody the is at odds with each other. Everybody turned on Drake. You even have people turning on Gunna. Like, I mean, what happened? The These were the too, big collaborators, they, especially they out still of dropping a lot of Without music. the collaborations, the music is drying up. The streams are drying up. People aren't coming out and doing shows together no more. I mean, it's just uneventful. And at this point, the female rappers have been carrying the genre mm -hmm. this year because mm -hmm. the male rappers have been a little bit quiet. Now, aside from Rod Wave oh, and his depression music, music <laughs> the only person in hip-hop who has really been yeah. thriving is Kendrick Lamar. But all the other mainstream rappers have not been that album as much. Drop, and now they're starting drop. to regret it. I think Future is regretting it. And honestly, I don't as much. I have never in my life seen a man wear his do-rag like this. It's Kendrick Lamar. But all the other mainstream rappers... Maybe I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a man. Who knows? Maybe this is common, but please let me know if you've you've worn your have not been like thriving this. as maybe much. it's a thing. Maybe I'm tripping. I've just I've never seen it. <laughs> I've seen some who've tucked it under if they don't want it hanging, but in this particular fashion, it's kind of giving hijab a bit. I I don't know. Whatever. And now there's maybe that is regret. common I with the little Future ears flap on the it. side. Honestly, I, don't I don't think Future's issues with Drake was as serious as some of the other guys. No he didn't really go as deep with his disses. I mean, he did call Drake a fake friend, and I think that might have had something to do with some shady business dealings behind the scenes. But it isn't something that couldn't be fixed. You know what I mean? But if I were Drake, 
would I want to forgive Future or would I want to reconcile I with Metro He Boomin, said he was hurt by it or something who like made that. a diss song about my BBL. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's up to Drake at this point. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he and Future reconciled. They probably already talked behind the scenes anyway. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they reunited because I don't think the drama between them was that big sure to begin with. Cool. Now, that moving on, weird. the fallen mogul, P. Diddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs, is facing more lawsuits. Surprise, surprise. He currently is facing 120 lawsuits that are being represented by the Busby Law Firm. And one of the lawsuits caught some headlines recently. And it was a lawsuit from a 13-year-old girl. And she is one of several minors that are accusing Diddy. And this right here is just so disturbing. So disturbing. In fact, she claims that Diddy not only violated her, but another unnamed celebrity violated her. And also an unnamed female celebrity watched. Oh. According to the lawsuit, this 13-year-old girl said that she was trying to get into the MTV Music Video Awards. And this happened in September 2000. So she was trying to get into the award show. She didn't have a ticket. So she kept approaching different limousines. And the limousine driver that stopped for her was P. Diddy's limousine driver. And he picked her up and took her to this after party, right? And at the party, she signed a non-disclosure agreement and she accepted a drink. And when she took the drink, she began to feel woozy. She lied down in one of the I'm bedrooms. And then P. Indian Diddy, friend. along with this unnamed celebrity male and this unnamed celebrity female, walked into the room. And Diddy and this male celebrity took advantage of her while she was under the influence. And the female celebrity watched. Now, when I was reading this, I had a lot of questions, a lot of questions. And I'm not going to dismiss any of these allegations because you can't put anything past anybody at this point, especially somebody like Diddy. So I'm not man. dismissing her allegation whatsoever, but I have questions about where was this girl's parents? She didn't have any guardian, any supervision. She just went down there alone. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an odd question. Um, you can definitely get away from your parents as a teenager. Maybe they were at work. Maybe they, they had bills to pay, so they were busy working. Or maybe they thought that she was um, with a relative, that she was safe. She was somewhere, but she lied, and then she ended up, you know, sneaking out to go to the music award show. So, you know, I think sometimes people are quick to blame the parents and be like, oh, where was the parents in the situation? They probably were doing the best they could and, and working to support her. Who knows? Maybe she has siblings. Who knows? So I don't think it's fair because I've definitely gotten away from my parents <laughs> as a teenager multiple times, unbeknownst to them when they thought I was asleep, putting pillows in the, you know, their old school trick, but it worked. Um, so yeah, there, there are ways. So. And got caught up like this. Like, where was her parents? That is the question I want to know. How did she get into that environment by herself with all these adults at 13 years old? I kind of wonder if she was trafficked. That's what I wonder. Uh -huh. Now, as far as the unnamed male and female celebrity that were involved in this, that is the big question. And a lot of people are already speculating on who it could be. No, Personally, I don't I know. know. I'm not going to say that I know. But I will that's say this. Cool. If you look back at the pictures of the MTV. Girl, the you know what <laughs> I ain't gonna speculate, but I will say this. Here's a picture of J-Lo, and it might have been her. I think that's so unfair to even imply that it could have been J-Lo. Like, come on. To put this on this woman, that is not fair. I know the innocent people who have associated with Diddy over the years are so annoyed and frustrated with this whole thing because they're like, look, yeah, I knew him, or yeah, I was around him sometimes, but I wasn't involved in that weird shit, and y'all not going to put that on me. Like, not everyone that he was affiliated with were, were a part of, of his debauchery and disgusting behavior. So I don't think that's fair at all to just assume that, you know, she was a part of it or this person or that person. Like, come on. Even when it comes to the Beyonce and Jay-Z thing, it's like, come on. We, we can't just make these assumptions just based on them being associated with Diddy. Who was Diddy around? We know Diddy was around Jennifer Lopez, right? I'm not saying that she was the unnamed female. But you being messy case, and you're trying to imply it's it. It's easy to speculate <laughs> when these names are being covered Girl. up. If this allegation is true, Diddy definitely should never see the light of day. And this is not the only minor that has accused him. There's like 25 minors out of the 120 victims. Oh, 25. Yeah, that's a lot. The, the more details I hear about this case, Even if you want to say, oh, get. some of them like, might be lying, not all of them down. I want everybody exposed. Everybody who harmed anybody, anybody who took advantage of children, 
need to be exposed. Anyway, tell what y'all think about really sad situation i'm sure the actual celebrities who were involved in this disgusting behavior they will be exposed i feel like everything is going to come to light at, at some point uh but in the meantime i think it's incredibly unfair to just speculate and y'all think oh this is just fun we're doing this is just tea and no these are people's real lives and these rumors could definitely, you know, uh, take on a life of, of their own and really get big. And then people are accusing innocent people of doing things. So I think that's super irresponsible to even bring up people's names, especially when you have a big platform, you know, and you're reporting on things. I think that's very irresponsible. But I mean, she did uh specify that, you know, she's not trying to say it's J-Lo and she doesn't know. But I still think... It's just messed up. You know what people are doing? Not just her, but everybody. I feel like a lot of people are uh, just accusing a lot of different people, uh, celebrities, of, of being involved in this. And it's just not fair because not all of them are guilty. Uh, but, yeah, there's that. We'll see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.